All right, here we go. Got my buds so plenty. Still a lot of them out there, happily. And uh, just got to clean them up and get them ready for a day of eating. All right, we're going to do a quick clean job. Take the knife, insert it between the base there and the tail. Just cut around, cut around, cut around. And it'll basically fall out. Boom. So we're going to start off with breakfast, but before we get going with that, I want to show you a quick little tip that I use for pulling out just the whole lobster meat out of these tails. There's some sort of either some sort of little toxic stuff, or maybe I'm just allergic to it, but when I'm dealing with these lobsters, any tiny scratches or anything gets the slime or something on them, but it just burns and itches at the same time, lasts for about a half an hour. I hate doing that, so I don't like dealing with all these sharp tines and everything. So I'm going to show you a quick little tip that I use when I specifically just want to remove the whole chunk of meat out from the shell, quick and easy, and more importantly, painless. All right, so if you ever tried cutting these shells, they are a hard shell, so they can be hard to uh, cut through with a normal knife. Then I switched over to these little wire snips, wire cutters, and I would just break through these hard uh, bone-like shell ridges here each one of those and then just break them down the center and then I would just snap and pop them open issue with that is you still dealing with the sharp corners and it makes it cuts on your hand and that burning so what I do I figured out better was to cut down each side each one of these ridge levels here and just kinda crack them right along the edge there Okay, I've got the cuts down on either side of it. This other stuff is just a skin, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Then what I do is I uh, take my two fingers, insert it between the shell and the meat, and there's kind of like a little film that separates, that moves right along the two, so you can kind of feel it. And you're just going to work your fingers all the way through like that. And at the same time, what happens is, you can pull through and since these bones are broken it'll all just peel right out so we're just gonna oops work underneath there get under there keeping my fingers underneath that shell there and then I can just pull it straight out. So for breakfast, I need this guy kind of uh, feathered out, so I'm gonna cut down the center here, butterfly it open. Then I can remove the little gut, uh, gut tunnel, the poo chute, at the same time. All the innards out of there. And I'm just gonna roll it open. there we go nice patty all right let's start with our foundation for our breakfast all right we go until the steam stops there we go waffle up Uh, the first one's always a rough one, so then now we're going to do a good one. Alright. Alright, the steam is stopped. Bam! There we go, that's what we're talking about. Okay, we've got our lobster patty, and I've got some tempera mix, so that's how we're gonna cook the lobster. All right, we've got our battered tempera lobster. 
drop that in there. Let that cook away. All right, let's get these plated up. Start off with our beautiful waffle there. Next comes our tempera battered lobster there. Breakfast isn't breakfast without some nice crispy bacon. And last, we gotta add our eggs. And to finalize everything, top it with some nice maple syrup. Bam! Okay, that's our first meal for the day. That's breakfast. All right, who's ready for some lunch? So let's get cooking. All right, I went ahead and prepped everything. We just went with some uh, grilled uh, lobster bits there. Some lettuce, tomatoes, avocados, cheese, some salsa, sour cream. Bet you can guess what we're gonna be making. All right, let's build our plate. And go with the red beans. A green base for our tacos. All right, let's throw together our tacos. Meat, tomatoes. Avocados. A little bit of sour cream. Salsa verde. Lots of cheese. There we go, got one. Let me introduce you to my pinwheel of lobster tacos. Well, lunch is served. Hmm. Man, it just does not get better than that. But we still got dinner to go, so time to finish lunch. Well, dinner's not gonna cook itself, so let's get prepping. Okay, I went ahead and prepped all the ingredients here. Got the lobsters, got some teriyaki sauce and glazed. We're gonna go with some extra meatiness with some smoked sausage. Got a couple different colors of bell peppers, tomatoes, mushrooms, and some pineapple to sweeten it up a bit. So I'm gonna mix these all up and let it marinate for a little bit and then throw it on some skewers.
Okay, our kebabs are ready to go on. We've got mushrooms, sausage, red bell peppers, got the lobsters, yellow bell peppers, tomatoes. Uh, nice good mix there. So let's throw these guys on. And there we go. Looking good. Well, there's dinner for you. <laughs> that uh, is a day of eating. Uh, that took care of uh, three of our lobsters. Still got three more to go, but uh, we'll have to figure something else for those. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, whenever this wind stops blowing, it's not looking good. Uh, hopefully February will be better because that's as far as the wind is blowing. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.